Today we will be installing SD Paint. This uses the automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion API and Control Net to allow us to provide a prompt and then draw on a canvas to fine-tune the output dynamically as we draw on the canvas. By the way, this here is a video demonstration from someone that has much better drawing skills than my drawing skills. You will unfortunately have to see my drawing skills later in this video. Here is the GitHub repository for this. For this video, I have created a fork of this. Let's get started with the installation. They have provided very good install instructions here. First, clone the repository. And then clone the Hugging Face repository to download the control net models. Next, install the Stable Diffusion UI. I already have this installed. I will leave a link to that install video. Now, we must run the Stable Diffusion UI. So I'm going to activate the Conda environment and run the web UI of that installation we did from a previous video. Now we add the Control Net extension using this URL. Then go to the Settings tab. Scroll down and click the Show All Pages. Do a search for Allow Other Script to control this extension and check the box. Scroll to the top and click Apply Settings. Now close the Web Browser tab. Terminate the running batch job by pressing Ctrl C multiple times and then restart your computer. Next, we will need to move the Control Net model files to the model folder for stable diffusion. This is the Control Net folder with the models that got created from the git clone command earlier. In the Stable Diffusion folder, I'm going to go into Extensions, Control Net Models. And then simply move all of the PTH and YAML files from the Control Net folder to the Stable Diffusion Extension Control Net Model folder. Next, go to the Stable Diffusion root folder and create a copy of Web UI User Batch file. And rename the copy to have this name ending with dash API. Now open this file with an editor. We will need to add this dash dash API for the command line arguments. Now we can save and close this file. And we are done. Now we simply launch the automatic 1111, but instead of calling the original batch file, we call this newly created API batch file we just modified. Once the UI has launched, we will need to open another command prompt or anaconda prompt. In this second anaconda prompt, I'm first going to cd into the SD paint directory we cloned earlier, and then run start.batch. While that is launching, we can look at the different controls for the application that are available. There are a lot of different things we can do with different keyboard shortcuts. One of the most important ones is this one, where you can change the prompt. It has finished launching. The right half is the canvas. The left half is where it will show the image. I'm going to press the P key to open the prompt window. And let's start with a duck. Hit the Enter key to apply the prompt. It will auto-generate a default image to start with. Well, we seem to have two ducks. Time to start drawing. Fair warning. The nonsense scribbling you are about to see from me cannot be unseen. You've been warned about my drawing skills. I'm going to attempt to kind of draw a duck that is looking to the right. Oh dear. Well, that kind of looks like a beak, I guess. It has already repainted the duck to face the right. I'm going to carry on finishing my drawing anyways. These are supposed to be feathers. There we go. This drawing is fine. This is fine. You can hit backspace on the keyboard to start over. I'm going to try another one. This is kind of fun. Starting with the head and the eyes. And then the beak. 
and finally the rest of the body and feathers. The image is already changed with the duck looking to the right. Now I'm going to add some legs and feet. And the image has a duck with legs and feet too now. I'm going to add some random lines to the body to change the texture. And some more random lines. Again, backspace to start over. I am having way too much fun with this. I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to try adding a circle under the duck to see what that does to the water. Now we can see the full duck better. Well, there you have it. You can probably use a more descriptive prompt and better drawing skills to customize the image dynamically. You can save the image by pressing Control S. Check out the other commands and options from the GitHub page. That is all. Enjoy.